Hey guys, how's it going? It's Fishy Fishy here with a brand new episode of Nothing Harder for You Today. Today we're taking a look at the character Sonic, and the reason why I chose this character is because a while ago someone actually asked a question on this show about Sonic, and I figured, since I wasn't sure who to choose, why not choose Sonic? Thanks to that guy for uh, asking the question about him. So thank you. I'm sorry I forgot your name. I should have pulled up the question, but... Alas, let's get started. So what do I think about Sonic? So Sonic, definitely, I mentioned him earlier on that show, on that episode, that I thought that he was a good character at racking up damage, and he can definitely provide a lot of damage really quickly. In terms of actually finishing moves, however, I think feel like he's a little lackluster, and that could just be me. His back air is very effective at taking out enemies, but... I don't think that he's the best character at actually finishing the job. His up smash is a very good move. It, can, it hits for quite a while and take, takes not very difficult to hit with it. Um, and I figure that's probably his best move in his arsenal of moves to take him out. Take out enemies, I should say. But here we go facing Mega Man. And Mega Man, definitely, he's the other blue third-party character that's in this game. And... He is, uh, you know, uh, it, it's, it's a fair matchup. And I thought it was a pretty funny matchup, but I managed to get him with my fire sword. A pretty funny matchup because just that's how, of course, it would work. So, also, I want to prefix the episode with a little, little mention of what happened on Monday. Basically, on Monday, I was on my on a bus ride home, and I was playing Smash Bros. And I actually hooked up my Wii U to the plug on the bus and was playing off the screen and I was messing around with my favorite character Olimar who I mentioned previously on the show that's my favorite character and I discovered this glitch I, I what I was doing I was using my fox amiibo that I brought back with me and whoa Kirby almost destroyed me there and by the way screw this Kirby right now I'm just gonna say this right now I hate this Kirby so much but what I did was I was playing with my fox amiibo and I decided to go into some custom moves and I discovered the glitch that uh, I discovered that glitch and I stopped playing I stopped exactly what I was doing right then and there because I realized that I, I have to record this this could be the first person who ever discovered this glitch and if you don't know what the glitch is make sure you guys check out the video it's called Almar is broken uh, instant KO or whatever make sure you guys take a look at that it's on my channel I post that yesterday because I didn't actually I was trying to finish it for Monday but for some reason the internet in my house didn't allow me to upload it fast enough but but yes they, they, that's what I was talking about. Screw this Kirby. So I w I uh, I discovered this glitch, and I decided to post made a video on it, and I posted a pretty in-depth video, including my theory and as to why it works. What I was unaware of, the, however, was that someone else actually had discovered this glitch as well, and posted a video, and it already became a thing only a week prior to me posting that video. So I was a little bummed out because... It happened just recently too, and it was this glitch I discovered on my own too. Base, instant kill. Make sure you guys, if you want to know what I'm talking about, make sure you watch that video. But anyway, I talked to the guy on Twitter because he said, "Hey, don't put on my video." I said there was misunderstanding. He's a he seems like a very good, cool guy as well. So there was no no harm done. He's not mad at me. I'm gonna leave my video up because it's not me saying I claim anything. It's just me saying like how to do it, all that stuff. But yeah, he's a very cool guy. Uh, Trevor Williams is his name, and yeah, it was a very, he was a very chill guy. Nothing, nothing went wrong. But anyway, that's why I did not post nothing harder on Monday because I was so caught up trying to post this video. Because if, if I was the first one to actually discover this, discover this glitch, I wanted to be uh, featured on the channel because that would be, it would be very good for my channel. Anyway, here we go against six opponents or five opponents, I should say, on Mario Circuit with th like in this new map that is now allowed to be in uh, eight-player Smash. Uh, again, as you saw with the Kirby one, I was kind of talking over it. Kirby, uh, he got me with my own move, and uh, it was what a, what a what a what a dingus, you know. So this one is another very interesting match. It has my rivals KDD, and he takes me out with that Gordo that just randomly rolled into me, and I tried to get away, but I couldn't, unfortunately. And I get it with a taste of his own medicine against that own Gordo there. And I do have um, that guy, which I just completely destroyed the Duck Hunt dog, by the way. And now I'm against Fox, who, speaking of which, he was just, I was just talking about him. Well, yeah, definitely. And yeah, I take him out with my back air. And I find that Sonic's back air is a very good move to just seal the deal in kill and just take out enemies with a very strong and satisfying blow. 
So, I also realized I forgot to mention what the show is about. I always forget to do that. But essentially, guys, this is nothing harder. This is the, the goal of the show is that I play on Super Smash Bros. 9.0 difficulty, the classic mode on 9.0 difficulty, which is called Nothing Harder. With every single character, and I'm slowly getting through everyone. There's a new episode every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so make sure you guys subscribe and like so you guys can see and support the show. Anyway, then I'm going to go on to the section of questions. And questions for those who don't know what I mean by my section questions is, and look at that, that was nonsense, I don't know why I chose to fight this Kirby again. The questions are ones, uh, I ask questions to you guys, and I want you guys to, uh, uh, I want you guys to ask me some questions so I can answer them on the show. And these can be any questions, they can be relationship advice, they can be, it can be answers to a math question, or some homework you're having problems with, I will answer them on the show. Probably not very well. But, hey, it's still, it gives me something to talk about, and it's fun for you guys to get involved in, on the show as well. So today we have two questions, and the first question we have today is from a, a YouTuber called Falcon Paunch, and he has to ask, What do you think about Amiibos? And do you think that Mewtwo will have an Amiibo? So this is a good question, and actually, it may be a little biased because I love Amiibo. It's kind of weird to think about that, but I really do love them, and Amiibos, I, I'm a little addicted to, because I, I saw that they were they were valuable and stuff, so I was like, oh my gosh, I actually have a really rare one, I have a Fox Amiibo. Very rare, so I kind of started getting into them, and I was like, hey, well, they're valuable, and I kind of like having, it, it makes it kind of weird, but I like, I like having, you know, things that I know, it's like, not many people have, and it's like, kind of like a trophy, you know? And I kill myself there for no reason. Uh, so it's like a trophy. So I actually have a pl plenty, and, and my most popular video on this channel is my Peach Amiibo glitch, which uh, proves that I, I do obviously have some. I don't even, I, I don't have Mario yet, so I'm still like I don't really want to get Mario yet. But I have a pl I have plenty of them. Unfortunately, I don't have them all with me right now to tell you which ones I have. But I, I do actually. My most rare one is a Marth Amiibo. And I do have a Captain Falcon one too. I have some very, I have some very good ones. Some very rare ones too. So I love Amiibos. They're really cool collectibles. They're really fun in games, and it, I like the fact that they're not just uh, they're not just like toys that work with one game. So I can in in the future it'll be like oh there'll be like 20 games that I can use these Amiibos for, and also the fact that they are coming for 3DS and new 3DS allows NFC compatibility with the touchscreen makes it even more worthwhile. So leading on to the other question that he asked was what do you think about the Mewtwo Amiibo? I feel like he will. And I'm saying that because Sakurai did say that every character in Smash Bros. will have their own amiibo. So not only Mewtwo is getting his own, is uh, is one of those characters because he should be getting his own amiibo. And if he is not getting an amiibo for Smash Bros., I feel like he will in the future be getting one for a Pokemon game, for example, because he is becoming start, starting to become more relevant in the series. It's ever since X and Y showed up with Mega Evolutions, as he was the final boss once more in X and Y, and uh, it, it really he really has started to become more of a staple figure in the Pokemon series once again. So if he doesn't get a uh, if he doesn't get an amiibo, I feel like he will get one in the meantime. So yes, I do believe that Mewtwo will get an amiibo. So thanks for the question, Falcon Punch, and um, on to the next question. And this question is actually from that one Yoshi48. And if you guys look, I actually managed to defeat the Me Fighters without actually, without actually taking a da uh, taking a stock, which is rare for me. But Sonic is very good at taking out the Me Fighters because he can inflict fast damage, and all you need is fast damage to take out these Me Fighters. And the dash attack is some very strong horizontal knockback, and that's all you need to take out the Me Fighters. But anyway, on to the next question. This one's from that one Yoshi48. And he, he wrote a very nice comment that said, Hey, Fishy Fisher, I'm a big fan, and congrats on, 50, on 60 subs. Oh, thanks, uh, thanks that one, Yoshi48. That means a lot, actually. Like, I, I love that people are enjoying my videos, obviously. I, I, I do mention this every time, and I'm going to stop trying to mention them. But again, it's really nice that like, everyone's leaving such nice comments and everything, and really um, enjoying the videos that I make. But anyway, he... Um, the question he said was, what do you think of Xenoblade Chronicles X? And have you played the original Xenoblade Chronicles? 
So, short answer, no, I haven't played the original Xenoblade Chronicles. So, I don't really have much of an opinion on Xenoblade, on the Xenoblade Chronicles X. Uh, it, it does seem like a series that I really want to play, because everyone's saying that that's one of the best games on the Wii. And also with Shulk and Super Smash Bros, it increased my curiosity towards him, as well as many people's curiosity toward, towards the, uh, the series. Sorry about that. Um... It increased my curiosity, and Xenoblade Chronicle X is a game that's coming out for the Wii U, and that seems like a very interesting game. Definitely, definitely, of course. I, I, I probably will make the purchase for Xenoblade Chronicle X when I get more information on it. I did see, it, I've seen the trailers for it and stuff like that, and it looks very interesting, very, very cool, and looks like it'd be a very fun game that I would be into. Maybe I'll make some videos on it eventually. But that's what I think of Xenoblade Chronicle X. I haven't played the original, so I'm not sure about how the gameplay works and anything like that. I know it's a, a JRPG, and obviously has done very well, and Shulk is the main character from it, who made it into Smash. So that's what I think of it, and I haven't played the original one, but I could, I, I, I kind of want to play it. At this current moment, I don't really have the uh, ability to play that those games right now, because my Wii currently set up is, uh, I don't, I can only play HDMI on my television at home, so I can't actually play on my Wii, which is a big shame. I can only play my Wii U. That's not a big deal right now, but it, it's a shame when I can when I'm missing it on some of these games. And it is for Wii actually, so I could play, um, I could play it on the Wii U. Just getting a copy, I'm sure, would be very difficult at this point because they're not making it anymore, obviously. But anyway, I, I would be very interested in playing that game and. I don't know, maybe you guys if making a video on it or something like that in the future would be uh, would be something you guys would enjoy. But anyway, thanks for the question, Yoshi, that one Yoshi48. I uh, really appreciate it, and very nice, very nice comment. So, sorry about that, the questions took a long time to answer, but now we're on to the Master Forms, and now already on the Master Shadow. I've been watching the video, don't keep in mind, I would have mentioned something that, that's noteworthy, and on to Master Shadow. Using my, I'm really abusing my up, uh, up smash, as because... Obviously, it's a very good move and very easy to actually connect with. I'm going to be using that one against the Master Shadow. And also, I was using my other moves. And somehow, my priority for my up smash managed to get through his uh, neutral B. But against Master Shadow, no big deal. I'm already at 100%. Uh, I'm at 101% at one life. So, this is about standard for my level of experience, I should say. So, carrying on here. Whoa, he managed to get me there. I'm at, I am in a dangerous area and like with what I'm at right now that was a good thing I used that and I managed to get him with a forward tilt. So hooray Sonic's going on to Master Fortress and Sonic here excels because there's a lot of running and obviously Sonic is the fastest character because you know he gotta go fast. I kind of went too fast there so I didn't allow these guys to spawn which I still cannot remember the name of these damn enemies from Kid Icarus but Carrying on, Sonic takes them out and running past these guys. He really can just run past anyone, but these ba these bouncy areas makes it kind of difficult to traverse. And watching out, I'm just starting to take a stupid amount of damage like that. Why did I just do that? It's not very intelligent, but I'm just going to carry on. Fast fall down here, go over there and take out this enemy right there. Knock him off into the laver. Oh, he didn't. Oh no, he did. He did die. Just I I I I do play it safe because this was about my third attempt. And I didn't really want to, or not that I didn't really want to, but I just I just play it safe because I've gone this far. Might as well not do something reckless to just waste this attempt, you know? So I'm playing a bit safe. I'm at 11% on Master Fortress, which is a very comfortable percent to be at. So, with the global smash power of 577, with the intense music playing, Sonic is rushing into the fray. Using my, ne my neutral A is a very good move of taking out... The, um, those enemies as well because it knocks them back and I just run past them if I really want to but I generally take them out so Sonic dashes through these guys and just ignores everyone Sonic is lots of fun character I'm not gonna lie he definitely plays very different than a lot of other characters so come on fishy come on Sonic you can do this annoy those guys but you have to take out this guy first obviously I always do but I'm too fast that guy didn't even spawn and my dash attack just completely missed him but he went to the lava so it's all good taking out that guy as well he was just, he, he doesn't want to be taken out and taking a few whacks at this master form. But I get knocked in by the lava and all hell is breaking loose. At 66%, 69%, heh, 
going carrying on there's the laser guy and keep on wailing on this guy but will I do it I got knocked into the lava and I'm at 94 percent didn't even have enough jump there to make it there and that would have been a very not good way of carrying it on finishing it but I managed to take out the final master whatever it's called with Sonic and thus ending the master fortress's reign so as as Sonic helplessly wails on this guy, and I believe he, I take a long time to take out this master core, I want to thank you guys all so much for watching another episode of Nothing Harder. Excuse me, I just burped a little bit. Wow, I'm just too excited. I want to thank you guys all so much for watching, and I want you guys to like, subscribe, and leave a very nice comment, and also a question so I can answer next time on the show, and you'll you may see your question next time on the show. So again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, as Sonic just keeps on missing, I'll leave you guys with a very short fail compilation, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Nothing Harder. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.